Hi there, my name is Melinda. I'm a Sephora squad member and today I'm shooting from home as you can see. She just awoke from a slumber. Let's see if we get a stretch. Oh, yep. <laughs> I want to talk to you about my skincare routine for acne prone skin. From looking at me right now, you can tell I don't have any active acne, but I'm gonna throw a photo up here for you so you can see the type of acne I had for the majority of my life. And it took a really long time to figure out how to battle that and how to really clear up my skin. This routine in particular is something that I've stuck to. I've swapped in and out a couple things, but this is what's working for me now. And I hope that you learn some tips and tricks that will help you out as well. First up in my routine is a pre-cleanse. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. It's really important to start with a pre-cleanse. I used to not use a pre-cleanse and honestly, I swear it changed my life. Before I would cleanse my face with a normal cleanser like two to three times to get my makeup off. And what that's doing is just stripping your skin of all the oils and drying it out. I personally have dry skin, so that was like a double no for me. My skin will overproduce oil the drier that it gets, which can cause acne. So by using a pre-cleanse that's oil-based, it helps remove the makeup because your makeup is also oil-based and oil removes oil, but it's also keeping my skin hydrated and moisturized and not stripping it. I'm just gonna take my spatula and grab a generous amount of this cleanser. You'll see it kind of is exactly what it says. It's like a balm. But once you put it into your hands and you rub it together, it melts down into a nice like oily cleanser. So you're gonna wanna apply this on your dry skin with your makeup on, no water necessary. The water actually doesn't help. Going on to dry skin really lets the oil do the work. So I like to start with my complexion and then I'll grab my lips, my eyebrows, and then I'll jump into my eyes. This is my preference. Remember to be a little bit gentle with your eyes. The skin around your eyes are more, is more sensitive than the rest of your face. I'm gonna look crazy, <laughs> but oh my gosh, you see like it just broke down my mascara so quickly, it melted right off. Okay, so usually if I was at my sink in my bathroom, I would just rinse this off with water, but today since I'm filming, I'm gonna use this towel and I just have a bowl of water next to me. So I'm gonna get it a little wet and wipe all of this off. And voila, all of the makeup's off. Now you can move on to your actual cleansing step and not be so fussed about removing your makeup and really focus on your skin. So next is my main cleansing step. This is from Tatcha and this is the Rice Polish Foaming Enzyme Powder. And this is an exfoliant, so it's a chemical exfoliant, meaning that the ingredients within the product is what's exfoliating your skin versus having some sort of like micro beads or something rough that's exfoliating the surface of your skin. Like I mentioned, I do have dry skin. Even if you don't have dry skin, it's really important to exfoliate. This exfoliator in particular is very non-abrasive. I feel like it's very gentle. But what happens if you don't exfoliate your skin is dead skin can kind of build up and bacteria can get trapped underneath it, which can cause acne. It's just, you know, oil and bacteria getting caught in your skin, which you don't want. So I love using this. This actually has rice bran and papaya in it, which is kind of like the chemical exfoliating factor of it. It does a great job for daily use. All right, before I get started with this cleanser, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of water in my hands and dampen my face slightly. And then I'm gonna keep that water in my hand when I pour the product in. Cause you're gonna see when I pour this into my hand, it's a powder. So once you get the powder in, you're gonna take a little bit more water and just activate that. And you'll see it slowly becomes a paste. And then with that, and the water you already have on your face and your other hand, you can kind of work it in a little bit more. You can see it's becoming like a liquid cleanser of sorts. So just go ahead and apply that to your skin. I like to take circular motions. Make sure you get in the crevices like around your nose and around your mouth, those areas that tend to dry out because that's what this will really help with. This is the classic powder. They do have different kinds, so if you have sensitive skin or different skin types, you can try one of the other variations. 
So like I said, all of my makeup's already removed. You can see there's no makeup coming off. Really, this is just cleansing my skin, and that's the importance of double cleansing, is that you can focus on cleansing your skin on that second step versus just removing makeup. If I was at my sink, I would go ahead and rinse this off, but since I'm shooting here, I'm just gonna take another towel, dampen that, got a new bowl of water, and I'm just gonna gently remove that from my face. You'll notice once this comes off as well, your skin will feel really soft. It's that exfoliation at work. And now my clean skin is ready for the rest of my routine. So like I said, right now I don't have any active acne, I do realize, but I wanna show you what I usually would use if I did, if I was breaking out. Maybe it's that time of the month or maybe my skin is just upset with me or I ate like five slices of pizza last night. But this is the Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. And I love these because they are, first of all, just really cute. They come in these little paquettes inside. So there's two of these and each of the paquettes have 10 acne healing dots. So this is what they look like. You can see they're kind of just clear, slightly tinted little dots. Once they go on, I feel like you can barely even see them on your skin. So the reason I'm showing you them right now in my skincare routine is because it's really important when you do use these, you wanna put it on freshly clean skin. So these are packed full with salicylic acid, which I know you've heard that ingredient before if you have acne because I feel like it's talked about so often. But what that does is really help to clear out the bacteria that causes acne. They also have aloe vera in them, which I find really important because I'm dry and I'm sensitive. And that aloe vera really helps to soothe the acne spot and make it appear a little bit less inflamed, a little bit less large. You can leave these on just for a few hours. You can put them on overnight if you want, but I found that it's really helped with some of my spots that I get. So next up after cleansing, I also really love to use the Eradicate Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. And I love this because you can use it as an all over skincare product, almost like a serum step before your moisturizer. It is a lightweight kind of pink gel. So it goes on really easily. I'm just gonna put it between my two hands so I can pat it in. And you can apply it over your whole face, like I said. So this is packed full of salicylic acid, like we talked about before, that ingredient that was also in the dots. It's really good for helping to prevent breakouts. So even though I'm not breaking out right now, this is awesome for me to use because it will help my skin stay clear. And for those of you who are at all concerned about texture, because I know oftentimes with acne comes like larger looking pores or maybe dryness from certain ingredients that you're using, this also has retinol in it. And I find that retinol really helps with the appearance of texture and the appearance of pore size and it can kind of minimize what that looks like on your skin. So this also helps out that way. Okay, my next product has nothing to do with acne, but you can't have a skincare routine without an eye cream. So this is one of my favorites recently. This is going to focus for me, I swear. This is the Kiehl's Sense 1851 Powerful Strength Dark Circle Reducing Vitamin C Eye Serum. Try and say that title three times fast. If you can do it, you're better than I am. But this is packed full with vitamin C, which I love because it helps with the appearance of brightening the under eye. The consistency of it is a little bit like a cream, but it has like the benefits of a serum as well. So I'm just gonna take that on my ring fingers. We use our ring fingers for the under eye because they have the lightest touch and that skin, that area of skin is really sensitive. So you wanna be careful not to apply too much pressure. Okay, so last step of my routine is moisturizer. Duh, you have to have a moisturizer. I don't care if you have oily skin or dry skin or anything in between, you should be moisturizing your skin because even if you are oily, my current favorite is from Prima, which is a brand new brand at Sephora and I've been obsessed with. This is the Afterglow 500 milligram CBD Deeply Restorative Moisturizer. And that's what it does, it deeply restores your skin. So I'm gonna take a little spatula just for cleanliness. Take a little bit out of the jar. You can see here, it's a pretty thick formula. It is really a rich cream, which I love for my dry skin, but it melts in effortlessly. So the reason I love this for my acne prone skin is because the broad spectrum hemp CBD is really going to help calm and soothe the skin. 
That's what CBD is great for. And when your skin has active breakouts or it's sensitive like mine, it really helps to have those soothing properties. This also has four different kinds of hyaluronic acid. I know that you've probably heard us talk about hyaluronic acid on this channel. I know I have in some of my other videos. Sometimes I use it in a serum form. Right now I've been using it in this moisturizer because it has four different kinds in it. But what it does, it just brings so much moisture back into your skin. It plumps the look of your skin. It's just wonderful for getting that moisture. So you wanna make sure that you're replenishing your skin with moisture. I can't say enough about it. Thank you so much for watching. That's my skincare routine for my acne prone dry skin. I really hope that some of my tips and tricks will help you out. But just remember if you are suffering from acne, if it's bothering you, maybe it's not. But if it is, you should embrace your skin no matter what it looks like every day and feel confident from the inside out. I think it's important that we take care of our skin and if we do, it'll take care of us and it'll start to shine through again. But you know, that takes time and not all products work for everyone. So don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself some time to figure out what works and just be sure to love your skin no matter what. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're trying out any of these products, I would love to hear it. And if you recommend anything to me, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.